Hey, welcome back. Just want to say thanks so much to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel. In this video, we're going to go over how to build an Airbus and I'm going to start by creating a wing. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, I got the most common shortcuts to perform any task in plasticity. At the very bottom here, I got the default shortcuts for the front, back, left, right, top, and bottom view. I'd suggest you change them just so you know you can go to the right bottom corner, hit the three dots icon, right click on any of those commands and choose assign shortcut. At the very top here, you can see mine, I'm in the front view now, I can switch over to any view quickly and I've already set up my images. If you don't know how to do that, I'd recommend you take a look at this video whose link is in the description below. So I'm gonna start off creating this shape here. I got this image from Google and you can download it from the link below if you want and just bring in and hit Ctrl G to put it into a folder then double click on it to rename it. You can hit Ctrl B to maximize the viewport and open the outliner and the properties tab on the right hand side. So let's now grab the spline tool. Hold down left mouse click and choose this one right here. I'm gonna sketch this one. I don't like the shape of it so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna change the shape of it just a little bit. So you can hold down Ctrl to place your points freely Okay, let's rebuild it now. Go down to the toolbar and hit rebuild. Click on point and give it something like 30 points and then arrange the points. What that does, it kind of rearranges all the points evenly. Okay, so now I got this cross section. I could roughly put here But actually, I don't know exactly where to put it. Uh, I just need to find a point in the 3D space. So what I know is that this is where the leading edge starts and this should be the point where the trailing edge ends somewhere there. So in order to find this point, let's switch over to the top view. We need to find this intersection here in the top view. To do that, I'm gonna choose the line tool and just lay down a line here. And this is the point where the trailing edge ends. So let's go to the right view and just pull it down and it should be located right here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next is mm, I'm gonna go to perspective view and shift D to duplicate this line here. Click on the green axis and hold down control to rotate it by 90 degrees. Select both. Now I know where the trailing edge ends and now we need to find where the leading edge starts. So duplicate it, shift D. And this is the point where the leading edge starts. Right, so uh, let's select both and switch to the front view. And I'm going to put it here. Let's go to the top view now. And as you can see, now we know where to put the cross section. All you need to do is select the cross section and hit W and then hit V 
that allows you to snap your pivot right there, wherever you want, and then hold down control and grab the white circle on the cross. What I want to make sure of is that the tip of the cross section is perfectly snapped at the center of the cross. Here. And just zoom in. As you can see, it's a little bit off. So W and V again. Grab the white circle. Hold down control and snap it there. Perfect. So now we know where the cross section is located. And let's switch to the right view. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. So hit S on the keyboard and then hit V and snap the pivot there. Let's zoom in here and hit S twice and just scale it down just a bit there. There we go. So I'm going to create three more of this. Select the cross section, Shift D to duplicate it and switch to the top view. Uh, what I want to do is scale it down. But before I do that, I need to snap. I need to place the pivot right on the tip with V key. Then grab the white circle right on the line and make sure it doesn't touch the flaps. Okay, so now I want to scale it down, hit V and step the pivot there, and zoom in closer and hit S twice. And make sure it intersects this line, the black line. Just like that. Then duplicate it again with Shift D. And put it here. So what I'm doing is um, I want to split the wing into three parts. So I'm going to place it right there. And then hit S and then V and snap the pivot here. Okay, hit S twice. and scale it down. So now I need to duplicate it once again for the tip of the wing. Okay, so hit S and then V and snap the pivot on the tip there and hit S twice and scale it down and make it really small like this. Let's go ahead and go to the front view and just put them in place right there. As you can see they are thicker than the wing. So I'm going to scale it down across the z-axis. I just want to give them a little bit more thickness than the sketch, guys, because um, the reason I'm doing this uh, is because I want to make sure that the landing gear fits inside the wing. So let's give it a try with the loft tool. As you can see, it doesn't work. Okay, let's try to rebuild the curb. Hit rebuild, click OK, and select them all, and hit L. No way. So the loft tool in plasticity is a little bit finicky, guys. Um, what I found out is um, if I delete some points, like this, any points, and it doesn't really matter, this one, this, and this, now it should work. So let's select them all, hit L again, there we go. 
that's a little bit weird guys but it works anyway okay let's delete it for now and let's switch over to the top view what I'm going to do is create the leading edge hold down left mouse click and choose this tool here and let's speed up the video just a little bit So, if you switch over to the front view, you can see a straight line. You just have to rearrange the points one by one. There it is. Now, I want to make sure that the cross sections intersect the leading edge properly. So to do this, um, I'm going to select this one, hit S, then hit B and snap the pivot there. And just, just zoom in really, really close. And then hit S twice. Okay, there we go. Just do the same for all the others. So now let's have a look at this point here. You just want to make sure that, the, as you can see, the point is a little bit off the curve. You just want to make sure it's snapped on the curve. So you can do that by holding down control and drag the point there. So now let's have a look at this point here and just hold down control and grab it. When the point turns blue or greenish or something like that, you can be sure that it's intersecting the curve. Now let's go to the front view and I'm going to make adjustments here. Okay, what I want to do now is um, I'm going to rebuild my curve to have all the points um, evenly distributed along the curve. Just like that. So the next step is um, I'm going to create the trailing edge, but this time I'm going to choose the spline tool and just snap my line on the tip of the cross sections. As you can see, it's coming out a little bit wonky. No problem, because I'm, we're going to fix this along the way later. If you want to zoom really close on a point, just select the point and hit F on the keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to add a few guides more to support my surface and avoid shading errors. So once I'm done with the guides, I'm going to select my cross sections one by one one hold down shift and select the others hit L on the keyboard there we go and then just hold down shift and pick the guides one at a time right mouse click to commit and there we go nice Fantastic. 
So let's keep the outliner clean, guys. So select all the curves, hit Control G to group them all so you can hide it. And I'll see you in the next one.